you. What's up guys, it's Chrissy and I'm back with another video. Finally, I am back with another video. I know it's been like so long since I've recorded and everything. I took some time off from YouTube and just other stuff just to get myself together and everything but now you girl is back I have been doing a lot of stuff I have not been recording videos yes I have not but I have been doing a lot of things um I got recently I got into having events that's been going pretty well so far if you follow my Instagram or my snapchat you see some of the stuff I've been getting into I put together a recap video for um, one of the events that I did but I haven't really done a sit down and talk to you guys video in a while but yeah I just wanted to give you guys an update on where I've been and what I've been doing this year I'm definitely going to try to be more consistent keeping content coming on YouTube because you know I got my start on YouTube like this is where I started like two years ago before I had a blog where I was doing anything else I was just making my videos so this is a really important thing to me although I am getting into other stuff I do want to make sure that I keep my content coming on YouTube I did say that I was gonna be doing my Q&A video which I am gonna do I just wanted to give you guys a little update on what's been going on first you know a few people have been asking like did I quit YouTube am I done with YouTube no I did not quit YouTube I just had to take a little break I do have a couple story times that I am gonna tell you guys um later in the year about some of the stuff that I've encountered during my time off because it's been a lot of wacky shit going on like a lot of weird ass shit has just been happening to me but I've been taking it all so well and I'm proud of myself for that because I finally learned how to fucking not blow shit out of proportion and just take shit for what it is so I'm kind of excited to get back to doing that because I miss talking to you guys like you guys are like my friends so I kind of miss talking to you guys because y'all know I used to be a motherfucking drama queen I was a fucking drama queen okay I'm still a little extra sometimes but I'm not as much of a drama queen as I used to be but I do want to tell you guys a lot of these stories also as far as the brand the brand has been doing very very good the brand has been doing very good um, for those of you who do not know, I did switch my website name from HeyMissChrissy.com to BlackHeartsClub.com if you're not aware. Um, the link is in the description, so you guys check that out. But that is my music blog. The brand has been doing very good. Lately, I've been focusing more on not doing so much shit, but making sure that the shit that I do is, like, bomb. Because I feel like you, anybody can do a bunch of shit, but... It's the quality that matters. So that's what I've been focusing on this year. Like, just making sure that I'm doing stuff that's not fucking, you know, something that anybody can do. You know, just really focusing on that quality and leaving my mark with shit. So that's something that I've been working on for this year. Shout out to everybody who's been supporting. Um, everybody who has reached out to me. The brands who have been reaching out to me. I don't know if you guys know, I did do a couple interviews. Um, I got featured in a couple blogs. Shout out to Lovelace Magazine. Shout out to Gold Crown Magazine. And also Society X Podcast. For featuring me on their blogs. And for having me as a part of their um, podcast. And yeah. But um, today I'm going to do my long awaited Q&A video. I've been saying that I was going to do another Q&A video for like six months but I always kept losing track of the questions so some of the questions I actually wrote down in my notepad some of them I screenshot off of like from my DMs when, from when I told people to DM me so that's the reason why I'm shouting out some of the people who asked the questions and some people will not get a shout out because my scattered ass did not go through and like put everything how it should be in order so I kind of lost track of a few things so anyway we're gonna get into this Q&A so I'm gonna start with the people who are in my DMs that way, after this, I could just read the questions from my notepad and that would just be that. Okay, so the first question is, this question comes from Ella Audrey Ray. Also, shout out to her. She is the wonderful female behind on um, Gold Crown Magazine. She's also about to be a fellow YouTuber as well soon, so y'all stay on the lookout for that. But her question to me is, how did you get into stripping? Okay. First of all, first of all, Virginia does not have strippers, okay? They have exotic dancers. There's no stripping in Virginia. So that's the first answer to your question. I was not a stripper. The second answer is, um, really, <laughs> that's another story for another video, to be completely honest with you. That's another story for another video. But long story short, I was working. I was in school, so there was a lot of stuff going on also at home too. I was working at the time. 
and I was also going to school and I had a friend who was doing it. I'm not going to put her name out there, but I did have a friend who was also dancing as well. And she kind of put me on to that. She helped me get my audition and stuff. So I went and auditioned and the girl, like she hired me on the spot. She was like, oh, you're so good. She hired me on the spot and I danced at that club for about two months. And after that, I was like, fuck this shit. That shit was, I don't know. It, it wasn't for me. It wasn't for me. I'm not encouraging or discouraging anybody. Well, I'm not going to judge you, but it just wasn't for me. And I feel like anybody that's watching my videos, you know, like, don't make the same mistakes I made. You know, you're better than that, whatever. So that's another story for another day, though. I might make a whole video about that, actually. But yeah. So, so faking wavy, not so fucking wavy, but so faking wavy, okay? He says, all black is definitely your thing. What makes you dig the cloak and dagger look? Um, ever since I was kind of... Ever since like middle school, my style has always been just kind of dark. I've always just been attracted to the darker side of things. Like, I've been that way since I was in middle school. I've always been weird. I've always been very strange. And I've always had just an attraction to like the darker side of things. Like one of my favorite poets is Edgar Allan Poe. I love watching horror movies. I love all types of different like dark shit that I guess normal people wouldn't necessarily see as inspiring it kind of inspires me because i've always been fascinated with the dark side of shit i guess that kind of just translated over into my style um i've never been a big fan of wearing bright colors i just mm -hmm, it's just it doesn't really fit my personality i feel like all black it just it makes a statement it's just it's appropriate for anywhere you go Besides a fucking, I mean, if you're going to a damn all white party. It's classic, it's cool. I just, I really fuck with all black because it just, it's like I'm here, but I'm not here at the same time, if that makes sense. See, people are really starting to fuck with this whole like goth wave and shit. And I'm, I'm happy about it, but I just, I've been that way since middle school. So it's not nothing new to me. It's not like a trend or anything like that. That's just really how I am. Okay, so Justin, his prime asked, if you had a time machine to go to an old school rock concert, which band would you go see? Um, that's a good question. Because I really do, 80s and 90s rock is like, and I really don't want to be cliche with my answer, but if I could go back and see a band, it would probably really have to be Nirvana. Because, let me tell you my reason first, it's not trying to be like on no fucking cliche ass shit first of all i really fuck with like kurt cobain just as a person like i people think he was crazy but i don't really think he was crazy i really fuck with kurt cobain i fuck with kurt cobain mad hard i fuck with him like his style i fuck with him as an artist i fuck with his the way he processes shit like i really fuck with kurt cobain i really felt like he was just talking to the people and he was really and I could, even through the computer screen, I could really feel like his pain and just everything coming out through his music, which happens every time I listen to them. But I just really felt, I, I felt it, I don't want to say on a spiritual level because that sounds just creepy, but it kind of was like a spiritual thing for me, if that makes sense. Like every time I hear him sing or every time I see like one of their performances on YouTube or something like that, I can see and I can feel like the pain just coming out through his music and shit. And I really, really fuck with that. I really fuck with artists who are 100% themselves and who give genuine ass performances and who give who are genuine as fuck like in interviews and shit like that. I can really identify with a lot of the shit that he was going through too. So that's kind of like a personal connection that I feel like I have with him. This sounds so weird coming out because it just sounds like I'm being creepy, but I'm really, I swear to God, I'm not. <laughs> really, if I could go back in time to one of those concerts, um, to one of their concerts, I would have loved to be at that Unplugged concert just because of how intimate it was. I really like intimate shit. So now moving on to the questions that are in my notepad. I don't know who asked these questions. I'm sorry. I was trying to make this process easier on me, but in the process of trying to make it easier, I just made it more complicated. So. I'm sorry. Okay, so the next question is, do you feel like being homeschooled had an effect on your social life and your social interactions with other people? Um, yes and no, to be honest with you, yes and no. But me personally, because I know homeschoolers who have been homeschooled their entire life, just like me, and they 
their social life, like their social interactions, they don't have no type of fucking anxiety. They not shy, none of that shit. Like they could just go out and run up and talk to people. But me, I had to build that skill. I don't really want to say it had anything to do with being homeschooled though, because I met some awkward ass people that went to public school too. And they just like dumb awkward, like dumb awkward. And it, I feel like being homeschooled or going to public school doesn't really I don't know, it kind of plays a part, but I feel like it doesn't play as big of a part in someone's personality as one might think. Because regardless of what y'all think or not, just because people are homeschooled, that does not mean that, you know, your parents is fucking teaching you in a basement and putting you in the fucking chains and you don't talk to nobody, you don't go nowhere. It's not like that. In all actuality, I think homeschoolers do have more of a chance to operate um, with other people in the outside world a little bit more so than public schoolers because I know me personally when I was being homeschooled um, we traveled a lot so I was doing a lot of school like we used to have an RV we used to have a, um, an RV trailer and we traveled a lot in that or just like flying places or going on vacation because we didn't have to be in school so we could just do whatever but we were still doing our lessons and I feel like me just being able to travel and go different places i got to interact with a lot of different type of people as a kid and i don't i don't really feel like it played a part in me being awkward i feel like i'm just awkward just because i'm awkward like uh, i ain't gonna pin that on me being homeschooled but i feel like i'm just weird just because i'm weird brandon i'm growing out of that now like i used to be very very shy wouldn't talk to nobody wouldn't go nowhere but you know i've been doing my thing lately but i feel like even with that i'm still a little bit awkward but i wouldn't put that on me being homeschooled nah because i've met awkward ass public schoolers i've met outgoing public schoolers i've met awkward homeschoolers i've met outgoing homeschoolers my best friend blessing is one of the most outgoing people i know and she's been homeschooled her entire life too so it's like I don't know. Okay, so next question is, how did you get into blogging? And also, what inspired you to start putting on events for local artists? Okay, so as far as the website part of me blogging, because I consider this blogging too, doing YouTube, but my music blog is like something different. Like, this is more personal. My music blog is something more, it's like a brand. But as far as the music blog, um... I really got into that because I have a lot of friends who do music. I have a lot of friends who do music and I feel like their music was very, very dope. And I saw a lot of other people who weren't as, you know, popular or whatever as a lot of these other local artists are. You know, some of them have built a buzz around their name and that's good. Um, kudos to them for that, but not everybody has that. So I decided to just take it upon myself to just create a platform for artists who are for artists who are just as dope and everything but they just don't necessarily have the buzz yet i've always been a fan of music um particularly underground music i've always been into that so when i started i mean it's not like i was writing about something that was unfamiliar to me i've always loved music forever like i play instruments i used to sing dance all that so music is a big part of my life music has actually saved my life so i wanted to create a space for artists who didn't necessarily have like the buzz that a lot of these other local artists have, but they're still equally as dope. Um, as far as the events, I am not gonna lie. I am not gonna lie. I did not see myself having events. Like when I first started doing this, I did not see myself having events. It wasn't until I really started going to shit and seeing like, oh, this is something that I can actually do that I decided to start having events. I've only been having events for a year. I went to Traptastic for the first time last year. That's where I really learned about like a lot of the local shit, a lot of the local artists and shit. But I went and I started going to almost everything that they had last year. And I went to a lot of other local shows and stuff like that. And that's where I really learned like how to, how to put together a lineup, you know, how to rent a venue out, how to book artists, blah, blah, blah. And that's how I learned how to do it. How I got into it, I don't know. That's a good question. I don't really remember. Oh, oh, this is what happened. My first event was the art show. It was supposed to be for my sister, my little sister's blog was supposed to be launched. And that event was supposed to be for her blog. Like it was supposed to be a launch party for her blog, but she didn't end up getting her stuff together in time. So we just went ahead and had an art show. And 
while I was putting that shit together, I was like, this is kind of fun. Like, I'm kind of actually enjoying this. And for the first time, for me having an event for the first time, it was actually pretty successful. So I was like, you know, I want to keep doing this. So yeah, that's a quick rundown about how I got into having shows. So shout out to people who come to my events. And um, shout out to Chat Tassie for teaching me how to have events. I'm going to do one more question. Um, let's see. All right. Who are some of your favorite local artists and why? Um, let's see, I'm not gonna give the typical Norfolk nigga answer and say Young Crazy because that's just so cliche and typical of me and I'm just not going to do that. No matter how expected of me it will be, I'm just not going to say that. Shout out to Young Crazy though because he is one of my favorites. But I'm gonna say my favorite, um, I'm not gonna say local artists, but independent artists to come out of Virginia would have to be my nigga Nolan. Nolan B. Rowland is one of my favorite fucking rappers ever to walk on the face of this planet. I fucking love Nolan B. Rowland. I actually wanted to have him perform at a show, but that's another story for another day as well. But Nolan B. Rowland is one of my favorite fucking rappers, period. Like local, non-local, whatever. I fucking love Nolan. Uh, the answer to that is definitely Nolan B. Rowland. If you have not heard his music, you need to check the... You need to check Nolan B. Rowland the fuck out. Cause y'all already know I fuck with that whole new age, like new wave type sound. Nolan is the fucking epitome of new age, new wave rapper. Like I fucking love his music. It's dope as fuck. I like his voice. I just fucking love Nolan. Like Nolan is my motherfucking favorite rapper. I play a lot of his music on Snapchat sometimes, like when I'm getting ready to go out and shit. Um, so if you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, then you've probably heard his, there, you have heard his music. If you follow me on Instagram or Snap, you heard his music on my page before. But I really want to like fucking interview Nolan, but this nigga lives in California now, like, so I don't know how the fuck that's gonna happen. I don't know, like maybe if he comes back here one day, mm -hmm. Nolan, if you see this video, get at me because I want to fucking interview your ass. So, yeah. But anyway, you guys, um, that's all I got for you guys today. I am currently now at 293 subscribers. If I get to 300 subscribers by the end of this month, then I will do another giveaway. And I want to make you something really good this time. So, y'all make sure y'all get me 300 and I'll do another giveaway for you guys. I love doing giveaways. Y'all know I love that shit. But yes, that's all I got for you guys today. Make sure you guys check out the blog and follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Everything will be in the description box below. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.